phytochemicals were just starting to be researched. At. Now we realize getting a wide variety of powerful, powerful sun-filled food prevents a wider cross-section of disease and eliminates a wider cross-section of disease. Right now as we sit here, there are hundreds of millions of dollars global research going on with phytochemicals showing you what we find in raw fruits and vegetables and how they literally attack diseases, like with wheatgrass. Out of all the phytochemical-rich foods, they found sprouted grains, that's wheat and rye and oats and barley, grasses, etc., have the most power. They attack wheatgrass, as an example, every form of cancer, every form they tested, every form of virus, rhino retro, every form of bacteria they've tested, and spiral cake. Now, we know that. If, you want to, if you're really interested in scientific again, right now, some of the hottest work is being done at the Linus Pauling Center at the University of Oregon in Corvallis. Really interesting stuff. They were the ones that finally gave me the ammunition to prove I was right, where they showed us if you cook it, the phytochemicals are virtually not working. Before that, everyone was saying, I'll tell you a cute story. Years ago, this wonderfully nice doctor, researcher at Johns Hopkins came out with a study some of you may have read globally. And it said, we know that lightning which is in tomatoes are excellent for prostate cancer. Then later they found out heart, heart disease, and breast cancer they found, etc. But you get more phytochemicals if you cook the tomato. So somebody who was really smart in the Washington, Baltimore area called me and knew I would completely go against that. I said, would you be willing to be interviewed with her on the radio? And I couldn't wait for the opportunity. I said, yes. So for a month I schemed and I said, how am I going to do it? The hardest part is to keep my Irish mouth shut long enough not to usurp what I was going to say. So I let her speak, and she was really grand and happy and very bright and a nice lady. And she was saying, well, we discovered that more lipine, more phytochemicals literally are available when you cook a food. So eventually the opening came after 20 minutes. And I said, doctor, this is remarkable. I am so honored to be on the radio with somebody that's created a whole new science. And you heard exactly, you heard know what I was going to do. I said, your science is one that completely throws on its ear everything we've ever understood about molecular decomposition. Now let me explain what that means in words. Why something changes in shape, size, and, and temperature when you heat it is we destroy molecules. You follow that? How you take something hard and cook it and it gets soft and hot is you've actually destroyed the molecule structure. Now that's, nobody's ever going to decide that that's not true. That's the premise of molecular decomposition and molecular change. That's 101, you get that at 18 or 19 years old when you're in school. So she was dead silent. Then. So I said, it's an amazing science you've discovered that after all of us really believe that you destroy molecules from cooking, you say that we create new ones that weren't there to begin with. I said, is there some kind of magic going on? That, could you describe the magic to us? that you manifest something that didn't exist before you cooked it. you follow this thinking? But you, the poor victims in the public who are not scientists and forget what you learned at 18 and 101, literally are victim to that and think, well, I'll now consume a gallon of tomato sauce a day because it's better for me than the raw. But when I sit for, what, a minute and a half and explain that to you, does anyone here not get what I just said? But this is a sadness out there today. Science is probably almost 100% based upon salesmanship. There's maybe 5 6% by mistake that's not salesmanship. And I'll bet anything, and I never did check this, so I may be wrong. I'll bet anything that some industry that benefited from that sponsored that research. I'll bet anything. 